Leadership attributes are very, very important. Um, my personal belief is that they haven't necessarily changed in the recent years, but more so they have deepened. So, um, you know, looking at society, looking at what we've all gone through with the pandemic, um, that's created an opportunity to really self-reflect and look at our inner purpose. And I do believe that has either happened through the pandemic for um, folks around the world, or it is a conversation that they are having um, in the next stages. So I believe that deepening and really self-understanding, but also reflecting on that within society is, is really what's happening rather than any change. I mean, these changes are always um, happening, um, but in terms of the pandemic, that's clearly um, intensified uh, all of the different thought processes around the world. And there's been a lot more connectivity around the world that's enabled that deepening. And that's been really, really important. But also I do believe with the um, industry focus on mindfulness and mindful practices and well-being, that gives everybody an opportunity to reflect on where they are, who they are, and where um, they want to make an impact and how to do that. So um, the window of time where folks haven't been traveling in lockdown, I believe has also created that space. And um, I do believe we'll see more benefits from that in the uh, very near term. My answer to that is yes. <laughs> so um, they're both very valuable. Um, clearly in today's world, understanding data connectivity is very, very important uh, because we are um, connected globally um, and, and in many, many different ways. So whether it's through social channels, whether it's through data collection within firms and the um, responsibility and accountability that comes with that, um, all of that is very important. Uh, having the experience uh, to lead people is important too. And having the experience of one's own ex area of expertise is very important. And so um, data in today's world is one of those areas of expertise. So uh, really the two start to overlap and understanding other elements of um, leadership, of technology, of operations, of social impact, and the human side of leadership is all very, very important. But putting all those things together, I do believe there is a sweet spot where experience and data coincide. The leader's responsibility is to create an environment and leadership is often confused with levels and hierarchy. We are all leaders in our own right and we all contribute to the environment that's there in society, in the organisations that we work in, in our families, uh, with our friendship groups. Uh, all of that is very important. Um, lots of folks put a lot of science to that, um, but equally, <laughs> there's a very simple way of life. If, if we treat each other with respect, if we're listening and if we're honing the conversations to the areas that really need that focus, um, then all of those things start to come together. And I do believe um, in the growth model for um, people, um, whether that's you know your son, your daughter, um, a, a friend, whether that's someone in your team, someone you're working with more broadly in an organization. When you look at that person, if you see their potential and their potential to grow and how that works, then there's an opportunity to build that into the culture. And if that's innate in the environment, then everything else really does follow because every question, every inquiry, every little bit of curiosity is about growth and that growth mindset. So putting all those things together, um, you know, the societal impact and the broader impact is part of that. No longer is it something or an and, it is something that is innate in our values and that's something that will no doubt deepen in society as we move through the next period. So the, the boardroom is an important place, the organisation is an important place as well. Um, folks will look to the boardroom and the, folk, uh, and the people that sit in the boardroom as role models. Now nobody's perfect but everybody in that boardroom has an, an opportunity to set the pace, set the tone of the organisation and how the board works as a team really just set the heartbeat of an organisation. 
Now, equally, there's lots of um, opportunity for each of us to go out into our teams, our functions, our communities, and, and really um, role model that. Um, that is very, very important too. So creating that environment, uh, leading by example, but also co-coaching each other in a very, very positive way is all part of that. And really, it, it, is, it is about creating the next generation of leadership and uh, looking at, um, you know, the outcomes that we need, not only for the organisations, but for society, how do they coincide? And where can we put people into opportunities where they can go and thrive and, and make those outcomes happen and that aligns with their personal values and, and interests. And really when you, um, in the nicest sense, put all of that together, you have a very, very powerful um, set of folks in society and organisations that are driving for um, global good, really.